So a key, a key component in understanding where you are and what this is, and what I mean by that is that we are not in what you think we're in. <laughs> we're not on a planet, and um, well, it is a planet. I mean, all all that all that is true, but. <clears throat> From what knowledge I came here with and then cross-validated it with others um, and what became apparent once the, you know, the internet was up and running and, and then I could see the correlation um, fully. But we are in some operating system of some sort. Uh, the knowledge that I came here with is that we are volunteers in an experiment. There were 144,000 of us originally that signed up for, if you will, this, this uh, experiment, which was an experiment in duality and learning how to raise the frequency. And there was a system put in place, uh, and the recycling system, if you will. But once the system was up and running, um, it was hijacked and just imagine like hackers, you know, that weren't a part of the, the originators of the experiment. The experiment was, you know, to help bring uh, warring races out in the galaxies together and to, you know, override aggression and, and the need to conquer and conquest and all that. Again, raising the frequency, the vibration, just elevating everything beyond the lower dense, dense vibrations of the animalistic um, DNA race traits. So, um, because the original uh, construct was designed in such a way uh, that it was, you know, what I'm going to refer to as like an organic AI system. It was like the first computer system, if you will. And we were launched into it, more or less. And, um, but once we got inside and, um, they were trying to fix the errors and the glitches that were happening because of the hacking and the hijacking, um, copy upon copy upon copy has transpired. So, um, you have... A lot more going on here now. Some people um, are unearthing a lot of their original memories, and um, and some people, you know, are re reincarnating in at a level where they, you know, completely comprehend all of this. And the goal from those that put the glitches in the operating system originally, the hackers, uh, the ones that don't want us to succeed, um, they've kind of been tracking everybody and they've been putting up all sorts of filters and traps and barriers and AI and, you know, algorithms and everything else in the world to maintain control of us. But we're at a point in time where it, it's, it, we're, we're in serious override. So I want you to kind of think about throwing out a lot of what you've come to know, uh, or not know necessarily, but, you know, um, myth, the mythos, the mythos of this planet. And, and see it more like what it is. And that's an operating system. 
and you know many civilizations have come before ours uh, being the earliest being Lemuria and so many of us <clears throat> were part of that original 144,000 seating in Lemuria and then the Atlantis and it just kind of went down the line so uh, there have been upgrades multiple times and humanity has had to be you know like the operating system has had to be uh, restarted wiped out reinstalled uh, there's been upgrades and so um, if you can look at the world right now more like an operating system upgrade so that you don't take it personally and also understand that if you know your avatar is at is an older model it's gonna be more challenging for you um, mine is an older model I've always been awake so I've taken good care of it even though I've had an accident that Im impaired me um, still doing pretty good and that has again a lot to do with diet and uh, not not pushing my electrical system so that I blow my fuse right and that's how I continue to override the frequencies here and override the programming there is an AI that's taken over that's trying to well that's been programmed to um, to uh, seduce us, if you will, into the indoctrination bubble of um, what the system wants versus what is best for an evolving, transforming um, humanity. You know, uh, our species is doing a leap in, in the evolutionary dance. And so, yeah, we can now override the system, and that's what they don't want. So just don't, you know, it's just a computer. It's just, it's just running programs on you. So try not to let it get to you. Understand, you know, the real, the real, the real challenge is being able to stay you know, inside the body during this transformation. And that, you know, um, that requires adjustments, for sure. And mostly it, it, it's going to involve extracting that part of yourself that the, that the 3D matrix, you know, has has its stranglehold on and and being able to get to the other side and outside the matrix and, and be brave enough to understand and recognize that you know we're pioneers and we're gonna we're gonna carve our way through this and um, we're gonna take back control and uh, eradicate this virus that's taken over the system we're going to do our upgrades so that we are allowed to evolve and expand. And that's what we need to stay focused on. And uh, so if you, if you let fear into your mind and you start to resonate with those images and that imagery, because we are a co-creative, illustrative, computer operating system, you're going to create a pathway to that narrative uh, and the possi you're, you're literally creating more possibility towards those events because they still are possible. But uh, they're only possible if people are broken and people are um, thus commandeered to manifest them. But they won't happen if we don't feed those narratives. So I hope this makes sense and uh, is helpful, but uh, just came into my mind and I wanted to make sure I threw it out there. Okay, awesome. Have a good day, guys. Take care. Mwah. Bless.